What's up guys, Favorite Archon Racha, and well today, well I know I didn't really go over the fries as much, so let me show you a little bit more in depth, because, you know what, the air fire one, you know, it, it works, but I, I like it better this way, so this is all you're going to need, a little corn syrup, some salt, your potato patilla, your potato patilla, <laughs> your tater peeler, yeah, just a little medium bowl, um, because we're going to wash them and everything. Uh, if you don't have one of these, don't worry about it, because um, uh, all you have to do is really essentially just slice them in half, and then um, get them down to small slices, as, or as thick as you like them, and then you'll just hand cut them yourself. Um, and, and, and uh, yeah, that's all you need, right there. Alright, let's get it. We're gonna do since we uh, already have a nice little cup of ham cutter here, right? There we go. Okay. Now you can make these um, yours a little bit thinner or whatever. Um, all I'm going to do though, is add some water to here. I'm going to wash them for about 30 minutes. Now a little secret for this part is, there's like, I think there's like 12 or 14 ingredients or some crazy crap like that with, um, with, uh, French, uh, McDonald's French fries, so we don't really need that many. A lot of that's preservatives and stuff for the frozen, they just go straight in. But anyway, um, what we're going to do though is, we're only making a couple. Um, what we're gonna do though is, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna add this, uh, corn syrup. Now, I have dark corn syrup, so, it doesn't really matter, okay? Just want to make sure, not tone. A lot of these little smaller ones for me, I'm just going to bite off. But if you don't have a, so what I got, just cut them up as small or, or as uh, meaty as you'd like for your french fries. And I'm just going to add some more corn syrup in here. About like that. You saw that. Okay. Really, I should have done this before the french fries went on here, but it's alright. I think I heard it. It's going to still dissolve. Right on! Right on! Alright. Yeah. I'm going to cover it and put it in for 30 minutes in the fridge. Here we go. Now, I am going to tell you, okay, um, that basically, there's two, there's a couple different ways to do this. Right? Right on? Um, number one. Um, you either have dry bouillon um, beef, and you're going to sprinkle it with the salt once we're all done with all these steps, uh, which you'll see the step salt at the very end after it's fried off completely. Or, you, um, you use your bacon grease, or maybe say perhaps you made burgers, and you have the, the, the beef uh, flavor in, in the grease from cooking it off, right? Save that, okay? Right on? Heard. Hurrah. Let's get in. I almost forgot one thing. Um, if you have a mini fryer like me, right? It's at uh, 350 degrees right now, okay? And uh, that's the first process on the second step. 
we'll be we'll crank it up to uh, 375 all the way. Okay. Um, if you're using a pot at home with some oil in it, um, just do it. At, just put it at medium. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Now it's been uh, 30 minutes uh, for the um, the French fries. We're gonna strain them and then we're gonna dry them out right here. Fresh new dry habitat right there. Okay. We're just gonna cook these in real nice and easy. About 90 seconds or until a lot brown, which since these are thicker, I know I'm already telling you that uh, they go in a little bit longer than 90 seconds. But uh, after after the nice little light golden brown, you go over here, you put them on here, and we're gonna let them cool for for 10 minutes. Bada bing, bada boom. These are at a nice little golden brown, very lightly golden brown with it. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna let them, we're gonna let them chill. Okay. We're gonna let them let them get all that. I love the little grease off of, okay? And then what we're going to do now is we're going to sit there and we're going to let them cool in the fridge 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to put them in for 12 this time. That's all right. On. So now we're going to crank it up to 400, or, to, or I'm sorry, 375. Okay, we're going to crank it up all the way over here on my end. So, uh, and then we're going to cook them all the way to a nice, lovely, golden brown. Okay, we're going to finish it off all the way. Now, here's the part, the interesting part. Okay, some people use beef tallow, okay, and this is where you would put it in, the beef tallow in um, your, 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 with your oil, okay. Um, I'm going to use bacon grease, okay. <clears throat> okay, so I've already put my bacon grease in there, um, and then we're going to finish them off with that. Or you could use uh, the beef juices, the beef fat, um, if you've made hamburgers previously, say. For example, um, the other way to do it is you can use, uh, like I already previously mentioned, um, after they come out of the fryer from being golden brown, we'll salt and use, um, you would use uh, bouillon, <laughs> beef bouillon, right? Dry beef bouillon with the uh, with salt, okay? But this is the way I like to do it. It's a lot easier. Just put in some bacon grease in there or some, some from the fat from the beef uh, to give it that little flavor, all right? All right, we've already added our uh, bacon grease, a little fat from our bacon grease in there. Um, we've got the fries are already cooled off. This is the last little dip. That's my timer for it. Bam. Okay. Now we're gonna cook this all the way through, the rest of the way through, to give that nice little crunch. Right on. And that's where this old boop comes in. <laughs> and as you can see, it does not take long to get that lovely, lovely desired effect. Okay. Ooh. Get that golden brown that you want there. Okay. Salt of their goodness. And right as they come out, let them cool for just a little bit. And I'm gonna steal one right here. Look at that. This is that crunch. Perfect metal. Mmm. Delicious. Word. And that's how you make your fries. A little bit more in depth. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Bites. Bacon bites. Hey, hit that bell. Uh, but hit that bell.